website, recovery.gov. Alexis, back to you. All right, Peter Barnes, thank you very much. Well, House Minority Leader John Boehner, a Republican of Ohio, says that members of his party will vote no on President Obama's American Recovery and Reinvestment Plan when it hits the House unless significant changes are made. Joining me with more on the issues the members of his party have with President Obama's stimulus plan is Republican Representative Thaddeus McCotter of Michigan. Good morning, Congressman. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Alexis. So you're pretty unhappy with the way this bill is shaped in its current form. What would you like to see changed? Well, I think we have to recognize that it's a monetary problem. But the reality is people are hurting. As you know, Alexis, like I'm from Michigan. We had 59,000 people lose their jobs last month. What we want to see in this package is a recognition that we have to get private investors off the sidelines to get this economy moving. And right now, with the massive, slow, wasteful government spending that is being proposed, that's not going to do the job. And the worst thing we can do right now is make a trillion-dollar mistake that harms American families even more and continues to recess our economy. What would do the right job? I think a focus on the monetary aspects of it, letting people keep what they earn. I think that we have to incentivize people to get into new houses. That would also help to stabilize the credit markets. We have to provide self-employed people, small businesses and entrepreneurs, the engine of our economy, the ability to keep more of what they earn and to reinvest it into their companies and to keep people employed and to potentially hire more people. Unfortunately, what we're seeing out of this current lack of a process with the Democrats in the House is their emphasis is essentially using a problem that should be solved as a pretext for increased government spending that will not have a permanent and long-lasting benefit to the economy. Okay, so more tax cuts in the way of either A, allowing the Bush tax cuts to, uh, to, to remain in effect instead of allowing them to expire, B, corporate tax rates, things of that nature. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, you have to incentivize the private investment into the economy. The temporary stimulus of the government tends to, under the Keynesian formulation that we've seen in the past, it tends to push, crowd out private investment. Private investment that comes in is not only going to provide immediate relief, it also provides a permanent structure for an economic recovery and a healthy, sustainable economy in the future. Right now, what we're very concerned about is if this is, as it is said, a temporary economic stimulus for up to a trillion dollars, what comes next and how much will that cost? You know, Congressman, I know you're set to meet with the president this week. I know this is going to go to the House for a vote. You and I both realize that it could pass in the House easily because they have the majority. They require two Republicans in the Senate to be filibuster-proof. What are you going to say to the president this week? And do you think he's willing to negotiate? Uh, or is it Speaker Pelosi that's the issue? I mean, what, where's the issue here in terms of the negotiations? Well, there is, rightly, as you point out, the dichotomy between the President of the United States asking to see the Republican minority's ideas within a framework of a temporary stimulus and the Speaker of the House not particularly interested at all in anything that the minority has to say. So the tension between the executive branch and the Speaker of the House and the legislative branch is something that we just have to work through. We'll meet with the President Friday. He's grace, gracefully accepted us and asked for our ideas. And we will present them to him regardless of what happens in the House. All right, Congressman, before I let you go, we understand that President Obama is going to sign some new emission standards into law at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. Those could have really, really large implications, for, obviously, for the auto industry. You're from the state of Michigan. What do you make of that news? I think it is very unfortunate that they are going to try to make it harder for Detroit to make cars at the present time as we go through a very intense restructuring process. If you look at it, the deadline is looming for compliance with the initial bridge loan. And to come out and make it more difficult and more expensive for people to stay employed in the auto industry, I think, is a very tragic misstep. All right. Well, Representative McCotter, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Sorry for the technical issues. That's all right. Thank you. All right.